Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 4.45 in the morning. So sorry, I feel like I can hardly keep my eyes open right now, but today is the last day of the sunrise swim video that Kenzie and I have been doing this week, where every day we wake up before the sun, we drive to the beach, we watch the sunrise, but I use that term loosely because it's been really cloudy, so mostly we just watch the sky get progressively brighter, but um, then we go for a swim in the ocean. It's been a really cool experience. I won't give too much away since there's a whole Schultzy channel video that we're making on it, but yeah, today's the last day, so we're gonna make it a little special. Steven's coming with us and he's gonna shoot us on the drone, which is gonna be super cool, and then I'm bringing like some muffins and fruit and stuff for us to have a little picnic on the beach. Oh, and I'm bringing the boogie boards. So we're not just going to be swimming in the ocean. We're going to be boogieing too. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go throw my swimsuit on. I will head out. I'm excited to sleep in tomorrow, even if sleeping in is only like seven. Gosh, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. All right. Swimsuit is on. Putting some sweats on. I'm going to grab a sweatshirt and we'll drive on down to the beach. I feel like I had something else I wanted to say when I turned on the vlog just now and now my mind is completely empty because, well, it is 4.45 in the morning, so that's all. <laughs> that's all I got. Morning. How does it feel? Be up this early. Uh, not great. <laughs> Are you gonna go on the water? I brought a bathing suit. Oh. But I have near zero intentions of going in the water. That just means Kenzie and I have to get to work persuading you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Last day, I'm sad. I, wow, you've got energy. I know, and I got home at like 11.30 last night. Oh my gosh. It's tough. Um, today's gonna be rough for me, but this morning's gonna be great. Yeah, it this morning. Matter. Are you going in with us today? So I already hate going in the water <laughs> on like a nice hot sunny day. And now it's cold, I'm sleepy, and it's just sounding like a big no. <laughs> I think we can get it. I think, yeah. So, <laughs> I forgot to bring cups. You, know you want to take a pole of orange yeah. juice? Slap it. <laughs> we just got out of the ocean. Hey. Me and Kenzie's last sunrise swim, Steven's first. And last. <laughs> it was fun though, right? I definitely would not want to do this seven days in a row. Yeah. And I feel like doing it seven days in a row probably took away from the magic, but anyways. Honestly, it didn't. Yeah, it, I, I think it just compounded the tiredness because yeah. we never got to like catch up on sleep. But the actual experience of going in the ocean, I feel like was amazing every time. Yeah. Yeah. Will you ever do it again? Yeah. Yeah. All right, hello. We're back home. Made a stop at Starbucks and uh, now we're enjoying the hot tub. Yes, it does feel really good. It's not often we're swimming in the hot tub at 8 a.m. This is probably my first time ever in a hot tub at 8 a.m. <laughs> Grace spent the night at my parents' house last night since we were going to do this so early. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna enjoy some relaxed time in here, warm up, wash off. And then I'm going to get Grace and you are gonna be getting the house ready. Yeah. Because we're having some of Stephen's friends over tonight. Yeah. Okay, so I'm out in the garden now, and every day when I come out here to water it, I collect some of the fresh milkweed leaves for the monarch caterpillars that we're raising indoors. And I also like to spend a little bit of time just observing the ones out here on the milkweed. They're just so cool to watch, and they're getting so big. And also, like, every single day I'm counting more and more. They don't really get quite big enough for me to see out here in the garden until probably, like, day five or six. But I know Know there's still like a steady stream of new caterpillars coming in because there's still new eggs being laid. This morning I saw probably a dozen eggs on the leaves and I counted 21 caterpillars. 21! So our fourth raised bed is the one that we wanted to be the butterfly garden. So we planted cosmos in the front since these are supposed to be like a really good flower for butterflies. Since they have nice wide petals, it's easy for them to drink the nectar. So we planted those in the front and then in the back we have velvet queen sunflowers which i think are gonna start blooming pretty soon maybe in like a week or so but in between the two flowers we have four native milkweed plants well it started as four but they've kind of expanded which is great because we need all the milkweed we can get with these caterpillars and i actually bought two more plants that are in pots but they are 
everywhere in here and they're getting so much bigger so they're easier to find like oh there's one hey pal <laughs> so yeah that's the butterfly garden bed and then let me, let me give you guys just like a little mini garden tour update because it's been a minute so starting over here we have a couple plants in pots we've got a spicy pepper a tomato two bell peppers there's another bell pepper over here and then those are just some extra marigolds that i didn't have room for in the raised beds but i had already planted from seeds so i wanted to keep them um and then these two pots right here are the two new native milkweed plants since we have so many dang caterpillars and they eat so much i wanted to make sure that we had enough milkweed to support all of them so we got these last week and then in our first raised bed here the front i just reseeded with new cilantro and then we've got two spicy pepper plants for tomato plants that have just started to flower so hopefully we're gonna be getting some tomatoes soon because last year we had so many tomatoes and they produced like all the way through october so i'm hoping we get the same this year and they're looking really healthy and then right down the middle i planted the marigolds which are supposed to be like a natural pest deterrent because we don't use any pesticides in the garden but last year my tomatoes were just constantly being attacked by tomato hornworms so these are supposed to like naturally repel them hopefully it works so far we haven't had any issues but we also don't have any tomatoes yet so maybe maybe they're just biding their time Ooh, and then behind me you get a nice pretty view of the sunflowers they got so dang tall and they were starting to droop so i had to add like a support stake on some of them somehow this big one in the middle is just like perfectly straight and sturdy and had no issues but the other ones needed a little bit of help how pretty is that though i just love sunflowers i think they might they might be my favorite flower which is why i planted some here and also some over there and you know what i think next year i i might do even more just like the beauty and like the dimension that they add to the garden just being so tall and so beautiful i feel like it's one of my favorite parts of the garden i really love them even though like my garden is primarily a vegetable garden i like i like to add the pretty things too um and then below those we have zucchini plants which are starting to produce we've got some zucchini coming in hot marigolds in the front of this bed a because they're pretty and b pest protection um and then the third bed i just reseeded the front with carrots before we had poppy plants here but we just switched them out for carrots and then we've got some watermelon growing here in the middle and cosmos in the back and then the last bed as you saw the butterfly garden oh i think it's so cool when they hang on the underside of the leaf like that like look at this little guy so cool and they're so big now i feel like had i not seen the monarch butterfly laying the eggs i definitely would have noticed them by now just from like being out here oh there's another egg another little fella to join the garden soon <laughs> but wait see see if your eyes can pick up on them here because there's three visible in this shot actually no there's four even i missed one maybe there's more i'm not seeing see if you can find them wait wait there's one two three and the little tiny bonus i almost didn't see number four this one's so small the camera won't focus on it without my hand behind it i have to be like a 2012 beauty guru but for my caterpillars but yeah they're literally just so cool i love them so much this is your sign to start a butterfly garden and plant some milkweed because i had no idea that it would be this cool like i really just did it because grace likes butterflies and like there was a butterfly garden at her nature class we'd always walk by it and so i was like oh we could make our own butterfly garden wouldn't that be fun and so we did but i didn't i didn't expect this it's just so freaking cool i love it i love i love being a mother to monarchs anyways that's my garden update that's how it's looking nowadays i'm very proud of it and i love i just love being out here it's like my my happy place also i knew monarch populations were in decline but i didn't know they got added to the endangered species list a year ago so i literally have like a whole little ecosystem of an endangered species thriving in my garden that's so cool and here's our indoor caterpillars just got their fresh milkweed for the day look at them just chomping away so freaking cute i oh i love them just got out of the shower i am clean dressed 
ready for the day. And I'm um, just about to head out to get Grace from my parents' house. And I'm thinking I'll probably hang there for a little bit. I haven't seen my parents in like three weeks. They just got back from a big trip, so it'll be fun to catch up with them and hear all about their travels. And I'm excited to see Grace and uh, have a fun day. So let's get to it. Also, I left my camera right here by the caterpillars while I went to shower. And then when I came back to get it, I fell into the trap of watching them again for like 10 minutes. They're just so freaking cool. Look at this one munching away. I am not even joking in the slightest when I say I could just stand here and watch them for like an hour straight. It's just so cool. But okay, okay, <laughs> I need to go. So we're at my parents' house and um, they're showing me all the pictures and videos from their trip. And my dad was eating some banana and Grace wanted to have some and she didn't want to eat it with her fingers. And she goes, um, dingle hopper, please. She wanted a fork, but she says dingle hopper. <laughs> wow, look at those sheep. Wow, that looks amazing. We're picking some blueberries. It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in sight. Could have used some of this at 5 a.m. this morning, but it'll be perfect weather for our little pool barbecue. Did you have fun staying at Grandy and Pappy's? Yeah, you excited to go home and see Daddy? Yeah, daddy misses you. We ended up staying at my parents for longer than I planned and now it's like 12.30 and Grace is very sleepy and I'm trying to keep her awake until we get home so that she'll take a solid nap, but Miss Girl is tired. Ooh, do you wanna tell me, ooh, tell me about your favorite vegetable. All right, it's a little after one. I just got Grace down for her nap. Gonna start tidying up the kitchen here and the living room because they are both in uh, various states of hot mess and we have people coming over in like an hour and a half. So but I gotta go get food, so I gotta get out of here. Oh yeah, you have to get the groceries still. So. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing? Burgers? Burgers. I think we still have some Burgers. Beyond patties. And Perfect. then I got a Beyond sausage. Ooh, the Beyond sausage is so good. Yeah. I honestly like it better than having a Beyond burger. It tends to be a hit. So I'm gonna get that stuff, and then I was gonna get a tray of melon. Oh. And then it sounds like uh, my friends are gonna bring other sides. Perfect. So. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I love Let's you, Let's do this. Love you. Mwah. What am I doing? <laughs> Hello, it is the next day. You're not welcoming back. You've already watched like most of this vlog, but hi. <laughs> It's the next day. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Great time in the pool with the barbecue and just hanging and chatting and playing with Grace and it was just a blast. So everyone left around 9.30 and I, I got started getting really tired around like eight, which honestly is like later than I've been getting tired every other day. But pretty much as soon as they left at 9.30, like head hit the pillow, I was out and I was planning on sleeping in today because that's like something I've been looking forward to after the sunrise swim video but I just naturally woke up at 6 15 which like first I was kind of annoyed about but then like I still got really good sleep because I went to bed so early and I'm getting a jump on my day so I feel like that's kind of good I feel like I might just kind of try to ride this wave now that my body is in this routine not like the 4 30 a.m routine but like 6, 6.15. It's really nice. Um, I, it feels weird saying all this again because I just talked about a lot of this stuff in a clip I filmed for the Schultze channel video. So I'll spare you more details. I'll talk more about it in that video, but I'm like kind of sad I'm not going to the beach. Like, and I'm sad I'm not seeing Kenzie. It was such a fun week. Like there were, there were parts that were less enjoyable, but overall it was such a fun week. And now it is Monday again. And it's gonna be a fun week in different ways. Actually, today, Grace is starting her gymnastics class for the summer. I wanted to do like a second activity with her swim lessons since her 
nature class and her ballet class go on break for the summer. So we're doing a gymnastics class through our city and the first day is today. So that's at nine and um, it's just an eight week session. So it'll be wrapping up in September, but I think she's gonna like it. It's gonna be fun. And always something that we can, you know, enroll in again if she really takes a liking to it. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and I have like so much more downtime than I expected before I'm with Grace because today Steven's watching her until eight uh, when he starts getting ready for work and it's 6 45 and she's not awake yet so i got time i'm chilling um i'm actually thinking about going in the pool i didn't wash my hair last night anyways after you know getting it all wet in the pool and i like miss swimming in the morning and even though it's not gonna be as like outdoorsy magical and also like cold wake me up stimulating i feel like it'll still be fun and nice i did a cold plunge um just like randomly in the backyard a couple was it like a month ago i think i did it on the vlog but the pool was colder than just naturally because it's been we've had like some actual summer weather the past couple weeks and we heated it yesterday so it's not really gonna be a cold plunge at all it's probably like 70 degrees but it'll be fun and why not just swim around a little bit chill and hopefully it kind of like wakes me up even though the water won't be super cold one of my favorite things this week has just been that i felt instantly awake after going in the ocean like i'm someone who a lot of the time it takes hours to fully wake up and like not just mentally like mentally feeling tired but like my face i feel like feels kind of like puffy and tired and i think the cold ocean water like totally crushed that like i just have not had that feeling so i don't know if the pool is gonna give me that but i'm i'm just trying to get something similar without driving to the beach, <laughs> which I'm not gonna lie, actually did cross my mind. I was like, I could just go. Like if I really want to, I could just go. But I don't think it would be like nearly the experience it was without Kenzie. And also safety wise, I'm like kind of iffy on going by myself. Like not totally opposed to it, but I don't know. I just feel like I'd wanna kind of think that through a little bit more, but okay. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go water the garden, get some fresh leaves for the cats. Cats as in caterpillars, not cats as in cats i'm i'm now in like so many monarch butterfly groups i'm catching up on the slang everyone just calls them cats so gotta feed my cats and uh then we'll go in the pool yeah you know what i think i think cold water is better but just any water submersion feels awesome in the morning like there's just something about just dunking your head that feels so good oh, the pool pump just turned on That's what makes the waterfall go? Little waterfall. Oh, my camera battery's blinking. Well, I guess this is a good place to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye. I'll be floating here for a while.